The OSCE has said that the Kremlin's proposal to unplug the internet in case of a military conflict or during, quote, foreign-sponsored protests triggers a red flag and is just another way for the government to silence people. In most of the situations that we looked into these issues that are in relation to, to internet freedom, uh, it's to, to suppress and to restrict critical voices. Russian lawmakers have expedited a bill this week which might lead to Moscow blocking most foreign web services. All foreign internet services now have until the 1st of January 2015 to store all personal data of users from Russia on home turf. If you look at the trend and in which direction Russia is going as a, as a country uh, in relation to freedom of expression and freedom of the media, then of course the question mark comes and a small little red flag that I'm raising all the time um, is immediately raised in order to ask what is the reason for it. Since the 1st of February, Russian authorities have blocked access to over 100 websites and have also passed a bill requiring many bloggers to register with the government. Legislation passed in August states that Wi-Fi users must provide their passport data to sign into public hotspots. The clampdown was in part sparked by online activity connected to Ukraine's Euromaidan revolution, which relied heavily on social media and online TV broadcasts.